see we know everything from the nature even if you don't you know study engineering everything is there always around us only thing is we don't understand them with our own knowledge that's why we study everything so that we correlate you know whatever we discuss everything is there already in the you know uh, daily life only thing is when you study about that then you try to recollect and correlate with the our study here okay so here proportion is very important thing here see whenever you are making some drawing the proportion is very important thing okay this proportion is important thing why because if you are representing a home like this see if you are representing a home like this what is the proportion here generally the height of the home generally more than the base of the height okay then only it is looking good that means the proportion of height generally greater than the base of the home otherwise i will represent the home like this if i represent a home like this like this is it really good looking good no it is not looking good compared to this okay this type of homes possible but this is a more appropriate why because the chosen height and the base is not in appropriate proportion okay that is how the proportion always plays a vital role to decide the aesthetic effect okay and further going deep into this okay there are some uh, you know concepts like a golden section golden section what is this golden section so it will give clear and aesthetic feeling okay to give very appealing feeling for the design we should you know adopt very appropriate proportions for the different length okay how to choose those appropriate proportions that is based on the golden section or golden length this is sometimes also called as the you know golden ratio golden ratio and it is also called as the golden mean golden mean okay see this golden ratio always there are so many discussion about this you know the people who ever watched the game of thrones they may understand this after the end of season 7 okay that is about the jon snow okay i don't want to discuss about this so first who 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 you know discovered about this who observed in the nature this golden section golden ratio or golden mean is already there in the nature and uh, who observed this first time so we always give credit to the people who ever observed this as like we always mention the scientist name okay we always need to give credit to them so greeks discovered this okay greeks discovered and observed and they also incorporated into their you know uh, house buildings okay and they're into their infrastructure okay and uh, so here what is the definition of it it's a definition golden ratio definition is if you take two quantity two quantities a and b okay if they are in the golden ratio then their ratio is same as for example if i take a and b two values where where a is greater than b and both are positive okay i have taken two values and uh, these two values should be in a such a way that if i take the if i take <coughs> see if i take you know sum of the sum of the numbers a plus b to the larger of the two quantities what is the larger one this is the larger one okay out of these two this should be equal to the ratio of this should be equal to their ratio okay what is their ratio that is a a by b okay 
you understood i have taken two numbers okay i have taken these two number in a such a way that one number is more than other where here in this case a is more than b and both are positive here and if i write this if i write these two numbers in this manner what is this number manner see this is the ratio ratio of bigger number to the smaller number should equal to the ratio of the sum of the two numbers to the bigger number this is the bigger number okay you remember this you write down this this is a bigger number okay and here it cannot be bigger number if you divide the smaller number by bigger number then you will get the less than one but here it should be greater than one this this is a this is a greater than one okay to make it a by b greater than one to make it the right hand side greater by greater than one it should be a by b that means maximum larger value divided by smaller value you cannot write smaller divided by larger value okay you remember this logic so whenever something is there something some ratio is in this manner then we can call that is that a particular proportion is in the golden ratio okay then here if you multiply then it will become a b plus b square equal to a square okay then what happened here so here golden ratio see this is a golden ratio we consider this as a golden ratio and this is represented as a phi here okay this is a golden ratio represented as a phi here and here what i do is instead of solving like this i want to find out this value golden ratio i want to find out this value golden ratio okay then here i can write this as a 1 plus b by a equal to but here this is a golden ratio this is a phi but here a by b is phi but here we got b by a then this can be written as 1 by 1 pi 1 by phi equal to phi understood what i did see here a by b is phi that is a golden ratio and here i divided with a so that i got a plus b by a but a by b is phi then b by a is 1 by phi okay then it will become you know phi square minus phi minus 1 equal to 0 okay then if i write minus b plus or minus um, square root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a then here this will become 1 i will take the positive number for the time being then b square b is 1 so b plus 4 into ac that is a 4 into 1 into 1 okay by 2 so what is its value its value if you calculate this value this is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 then you will get to 1.618 okay this is the value of a golden ratio okay that means if we are considering two, two values for example if you are considering two values like this okay so if this is h this is w then h by w should be something like 1.618 then it looks good it looks pleasing otherwise you are filling these two colors into two okay for example if this is the black and this is the white you are filling something then the proportion the proportion should be in the 1.618 okay the proportion should be in the 1.618 then only it looks good otherwise it's not a pleasing one i'm not saying this is a wrong but with this it looks good if you do like that and here this is also closely resembles the this also resembles the fibonacci series okay fibonacci series what is that fibonacci series this is a fibonacci series okay what is that series so fibonacci series is for example if you start with a zero and a one okay then next number would be sum of these two 
then 0 plus 1 is 1 and the next number would be sum of these two 1 plus 1 is 2 and next number would be sum of these two 1 plus 2 is a 3 and next number is sum of these two that is a 5 and then this is a 8 and sum of 5 plus 8 is a 13 and 13 plus 8 is a 21 and 21 plus 13 is a how much uh, 34 okay and 34 plus 21 is 55 like that it will go on it will keep on go okay so here what is that fn for example any term fn equal to f sorry f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2 okay that is how we are finding out here see how this is going yeah we will see whether these ratios are coming the same as a 1.618 or not okay see for example if i get 3 by 2 if i take these two values so 3 by 2 3 by 2 is something like a 1.5 and then i will take 5 by 3 i will take these two numbers 5 by 3 then what is the value 5 by 3 5 by 3 is 1.667 and I will take these two number 5 and 8 then that is a 8 by 5 then what is its value 8 by 5 that is a 1.6 and again if I take 13 by 8 its value is something like a 1.625 around the 1.6 1.6 if you observe these are all 1.6 except this okay that means it is a approximately following the Fibonacci series okay so by if it is approximately following the Fibonacci series then we can find out the how nature is trying to emulate the golden ratio we can draw that actually that shapes we can draw that shapes how we can draw that I will see here for example here I have I started with the one this box is one and uh, I added uh, this box to zero then it will produce uh, one plus one is two okay it produced one plus one is two okay according to Fibonacci series one plus one is two the next number would be one plus one is two I am writing in terms of the boxes okay this is two and uh, here the previous two numbers 1 plus 2 is 3 so this is the 3 and uh, here again the next one is uh, 3 plus 2 5 okay this is the 5 this is the 5 3 plus uh, 3 plus 2 5 and here what I do is 5 plus uh, 3 8 okay this is the 5 plus see 2 plus 1 3 and then 5 8 okay 8 these are all squares and then 8 plus 5 is a 13 a plus 5 is a 13 okay this is 8 2 plus 3 this is a 13 okay we got this 13 like this okay and here I want to draw the shape I want to the, the shape you know how nature follows this so I will start from here I will touch I will touch each and every box okay like this and here I need to touch here I will touch and this is the thing we got from here and uh, next one is this one and uh, next one is this one okay next one is uh, this one and it will keep on go like this okay so if you take the she cell she cell then what is the shape of that top it will be like this okay it is going like this so that is following the same step what is that it is a what is this this is a nothing but the fibonacci series okay here one plus one is a we started with one and uh, added one more one and then we added these two then we got the two and we added these two then we got the three like that fibonacci series so when i connect this fibonacci series then it is giving the curve 
okay the she cells the she cells also forming the same shape here okay this is the she cell okay on the top it has this one see if you observe this this is the nature is also following this that is what we are trying to find out okay then nature is trying to follow this so that it is a feeling it is a giving very aesthetic aesthetic effect okay from this so that is what we are trying to find out this and uh, even in the you know uh, paintings also if you observe so many artists they use this uh, golden section okay if this is a painting like this okay you are painting the earth and the sky okay see if you are painting earth and the sky the proportion should be something like this in the 1.61 some whatever we got okay the golden ratio see this is a earth and this this portion represent the sky okay then it looks fine otherwise if you put a sky like this and uh, you know you feel everything in the earth then it looks odd okay otherwise if you fill off earth of sky then it won't look good it will it is not pleasing good okay that is how this artist make that so while designing these you should keep these things into mind okay if you know these then at least you try to make our design very pleasing while making that okay so we we know different forms and we know how a line can change the feeling or the emotion of a customer and we also have seen what is the golden ratio and all for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com